Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and this is a masterclass on one of the few big remaining parts that we haven't covered in terms of making awesome, excellent and aggregate designs. I think I'll call these aggregate designs. So you find yourself in the end game and something is not working, either the rockets are not launching or your science is not working and the answer will invariably be the same thing. It is always greens. Uh, it's always quantum chips. It's always the quantum chips going into the green science. It's always the quantum chips going into the rockets. It's always the damn quantum chips that's slowing it down. Wouldn't it be nice? And then you go to the quantum chips and sometimes it's one thing and sometimes it's the other thing. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have a design that did all of the things, took the very basic materials in and then at the end just put out quantum chips? Well, look no further. I have created this for you and we are going to walk through this today to uh, get a sense of what it is and how it works. So at this point, we're going to start by looking at quantum chips just to get a sense of why it's so difficult. Because if you just look at it, it just looks like, oh, okay, well, there's a bit of processes. That's pretty straightforward. We've done that before. And then some of these other ones, the plain filters. Plain filters, well, they uh, take two ingredients that you only need at this point in the game. So that will be the titanium glass we need to make and the Casimir crystals we need to make. Let's take uh, one of them. Let's take the Casimir crystals. Now, there are two recipes for Casimir crystals. Uh, you can see them here. It's either with the titanium crystal or with optical grading crystal. Now, in this case, I am going to design it using the, the titanium crystal because what I found in my game and is that generally I don't have enough optical grading crystal in order to saturate this part and also use it for solar sails. And I rather want to use it for solar sails because it cuts a bigger part of the production chain out. This one, if the difference between this is either use four optical grading crystal or I use one titanium crystal, which is three titanium, which you have in abundance, in like vast, vast quantities, and then one organic crystal which is only used for this one thing so organic crystals really only useful for this thing and yellow science of course so this is why i'm choosing to do that recipe then uh, we have out of uh, of this one we also have some graphene that i'll have to make and uh, i will use the fire ice recipe so we have a bit of excess hydrogen which is okay because we're going to need it and then and the excess hydrogen will need to go in here to the to supplement the hydrogen needed for the casimir crystal so that's also good that's going to make it a bit more complicated to bake. This one, organic crystals, I'm going to assume those come externally. And then titanium is also something external. Now over on the other side with the plain filter, then that goes into the titanium glass. Titanium glass are basic components, glass, titanium, and water. So we now have broken it down into all of the constituent uh, components that we need to do. And then that is what you see here. And we'll walk through it. So what the first thing I want to do is start working on the path towards the Casimir crystals. The way I do this is that I am going to get it here. This entire build is designed towards one crystal, one quantum chip per second. So that means uh, since it's on a six second cycle, I'm gonna need six builders of these. I am going to use the assembly machine two, even though you can say that you could have the assembly machines three here, but what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm building it towards, this is the first thing right as soon as you solve you solve the purple science and you go like ah big sigh of relief i have purple science the first thing you realize is i'm going to need quantum chips before i can move on so this is where you do and you will eventually stamp this down but it's important that we understand how it works so let's um look at the first tower the first tower takes the sugar cubes i mean fire ice let's request these things here inbound just to see that it flows and these are the things titanium which is going to be used for two things both the titanium crystal and the titanium glass as well so we'll need to use that for two things here come the organic crystal going in here i'm marking these with the memo field so it's easier to when you look at the blueprint on you have empty lines you can easily see why we have an empty line and you get the titanium here filling in the other side uh am i panicking a bit yes but no they're just being consumed here and then they will gradually all of them start working and they will now make the titanium crystals. They are moving all the way down here, going here, consolidating on this belt again, indicators on the belt, which will go down here for the Casimir crystals, go around, go through this one and then feed over on this side. 
So that's the titanium crystals and the titanium as well continues further down. So now let's see if we are getting some quantum, some, huh, some fires. There we go. Oh man, the perfect timing of this. Quantum chips. All right. So here I'm due. This will actually have two outputs and I'm taking both outputs on the same belt because the quantities are not so high. And then I take the hydrogen directly here and then I push because I want the hydrogen out. You're going to need to add the hydrogen to the Casimir crystal build, but the graphene goes onwards here. So graphene, and then I have to take it up a level as well. It goes in on this side and goes over smoothly over on the other side. So we can feed the Casimir crystals with a lot of graphene. Then the second one is the hydrogen. Hydrogen is currently at this point only coming in as the residual. But if we look at the recipe, here is the recipe. It will take, uh, let's look at that one instead, the bottom one of these. For every two graphene, I'll only get one hydrogen. So obviously this is not going to be enough hydrogen. This build here will require, mm -hmm, it is requiring three per second each, and there are eight of them. So that's 28 per second, or 20, oops, <coughs> that's embarrassing, 24 per second. And this one is producing a total of four. So we still have a net demand of 20 hydrogen per second. So let's get that in here. Quickly, quickly, let's get that in together with the two other ingredients that we need. We need the water and we need the glass for the titanium glass. So here we have the, this is getting started and it will slowly, slowly work. Now we see this working and we see, here we go, they are going out. And you can see here, this is where we have the Casimir crystals. Casimir crystals move further down the line, but then now we take the titanium plus the two additional ingredients, the water and the glass, all these things just smoothly go here. The titanium goes into the middle and the other two, the glass and water, go on the outside and around so that we don't have a lot of splitters to cut things through and we don't have a lot of, uh, of over and under belts. And then we get the titanium glass out here, combining it with the casimir crystals. The casimir crystals get split into three. One, two, three. While this titanium glass goes out and it gets passes through and goes in and passes through and goes in so it goes all the way in to these three lanes and then we have of course the outbound sticks one outbound coming here and another one outbound coming here they will be filtering so that we get the plane filter from these locations and the plane filter will smoothly roll in here and go into the six assemblers that are connected only for the single purpose of making our end goal now, this is not really enough because if you recall, we also needed processors. So uh, I've made a many, many processor build, but I actually managed to make it just a little bit nicer here. Just a little bit nicer. So let's uh, see how that works once we uh, set up the requesters. That's a request. That's a request. That's a request. And the way what I have done here is that I have simply set the iron goes in and goes in here to the circuit build as well as we have the copper coming in. See, this one requires copper. And then I will also be able to steal some copper from this line for the circuit boards, which will then go on that belt. This means fewer belts and this one can feed three exactly. And we start seeing processors coming the other way. This is gonna be making one processor per second, two processors per second, which fits in here with the two processors inbound per second for one outbound per second. And let's just have a look at it and see that it works. This one is working slowly, getting started. Of course, it's going to take a bit of time for it to completely saturate uh, because it will just tend to fill up the first ones quickly. And then only gradually, once this one is completely full, it will let it that some pass on to the next one. You can see there's still four yellow dots here. But once this one goes up to 10, then it should stop consuming them, right? Yeah, it should stop bringing it in and it'll move on to the next one. Great. So we have a... Have this one working and we are seeing a very slow but uh, but just a progress here this will be exactly one quantum chip per second coming in and uh, well if you think like okay that's not a lot well it isn't now also i should say that this is actually close to my edge here one two three so i'm just gonna oh that's why do, why am i doing these things here in the middle of a build here that's really not what i should be doing oh maybe it was actually there and I'm going to take that one because this is how I would usually delimit, but I wanted to stand on this side. So what I want to show you additionally about this design, because that's pretty damn neat about this design, is that if I do a little copy from here and up here, use now, 
that we have this beautiful big design. I am putting this, if you look at the middle sections before the first uh, fault line here, or tropic, then uh, I can't even damn see it, but it's one, two, three tiles, or three squares, and then if I then put the next one in the middle exactly, please work. Does that look middle to me, to you? It looks middle to me. There we go. And that is here, and then means that you can actually build three of these next to each other, or you could, if you want to use the whole space on the planet, like the whole way uh, between like the middle section, that's the best building areas, you could have six of these next to each other, just like that, and get six per second. That's not bad, that's not bad. And of course, you can see here, we are missing tons and tons of things, but the essence is that I wanted to show you that these ones can be can be pretty damn compact because you might not be satisfied with one per second because well maybe you want two per second for your green science build and then you want uh, another maybe one or two per second for your uh, what other things like rockets also require some quantum chips yes please and the other thing that will consume majority of your quantum chips will be there we go quantum chips also into your assemblers mark three so that's why we don't use Maxim Assemblers Mark III because how would you be able to make my Assemblers Mark III if you are already, if you're only now starting to build it. But the beautiful thing about this design compared to some of my other designs where I built big builds for each one is that this one, nothing else can come in and steal your, your titanium crystals or your Casimir crystals or anything else. Nothing is going to steal that. All of this is hard-coded into this line and as long as you can keep these very very basic materials flowing look at the basic materials these are basic materials and if you can keep these flowing well you are going to have a steady supply sometimes what i found is that when you have these big supplies big builds then somehow the casimir crystal is being used for something else or uh, the titanium crystals or the graphene or something else something is being demanded by someone else somewhere and even even worse if you have it on multiple different planets in this case well i'm having it all just brought in here even though it's low quantity build then it's still like you get the whole supply chain and you can stamp down two three four five six if you want next to each other and i think you can probably have room for i don't know it doesn't even take a fourth of a planet so you can definitely have uh 24 per second if you really want to convert the whole planet probably even more than that but i can at least guarantee you you can have 24 per, se per second on a planet so that's uh, that's basically the design i am of course providing all these designs they are on my uh, on my website that means they are available with a link in the description below i am always sharing these uh, blueprints and uh, with the quantum chips done then there's only really one extra big thing that we are missing and that is of course the green science which also includes the green lenses so green science will of course be the next one so stay tuned so we can wrap that one up and then you have all the science built and uh, pretty much all the other builds that you could imagine in this game for now until they make some change then it invalidates the whole damn thing but i hope that you are appreciating and enjoying these uh, tutorial videos and uh, maybe they will be useful maybe you can improve them yourself that is perfectly fine i did spend quite a bit of time on it but there might be some things uh, quirks here and there that you might uh, you might be able to improve if you have ideas for other things that i could do in terms of uh, of designs then uh, let me know and uh, maybe i will uh, find a way to do that but it is also sort of the end of the uh, end game for me in uh, in Dyson Sphere program until something new is added enemies uh, new components modules beacons I don't know what's going to be added probably not modules beacons but something else needs to be added for us to sort of start all over or continue the base but thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed it if you watched so far then uh, maybe hit the like button if you have enjoyed this uh, this video if you have not then, uh, then just just leave now but or you know even better subscribe to the channel and hope that the next one will be better thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys next time until then take care and as always stay effective